Buenos dias, Gunners Collective. Back at it? You already know. Ba -da -ba 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 -ba. Uh. Here goes another one. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. Like a mother. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. Like a mother. Smack at it. Bye, guard. Bye, guard. Bye. Oh, they, they be yelling. Hey, guard, brother. Can you, can you pass the shot of coffee? To <laughs> and now trip out, man, as you can tell by that thumbnail right there. Oh, they, they Adam 22. You know what I mean? Get like it. What's happening with it, man? What's going on with no jumper, Henty? I told you so, right? Didn't we tell you? Didn't we tell you so? You know, why come or how come? Shit, there ain't no why come. It's straight up. There's both those numbers are doing it. Watch out. He was going like that. He had a little bump in the road. I thought we were doing that. And then I You know, what goes up must come down. That's the old school saying, right? And with no jumper, it's definitely going down, right? Because it went down. Now, let me... Let, I got a little business acumen. See, I've been doing this. Um, I've been on the streets doing it, and I'm doing it in the studio. And I'll tell you guys one thing for sure. Uh, when I started to watch No Jumper, because I did just like everyone else, right? I was like, okay, okay, let me see what they're talking about over here. All right, there's a white guy who used to be a skateboarder. He runs the whole damn show. And, of course, I've seen the black and the brown man really entertaining everyone. Okay, I'm going to tell you a story on top of a story. But this is the first thing. Adam, um, it looks like his numbers are dwindling. You know, he got to save face. He done brought in the neo-Nazi. He done brought in, uh, uh, you know, a uh, Shit Knight 2.0. We don't even know who that cat is. And he lost the real ones like AD, T-Rail. Of course, Duno said, see ya, wouldn't want to be ya, right? And all the real ones are bouncing. Now, I don't know to what degree a sharp is sticking around, you know, but he definitely ain't sharp anymore. He's more like, uh, he lost his pointed edge. He's more like round, you know, not sharp, but round. Anyways, uh, we'll see how long No Jumper's able to stick around. But this is what happens, man, when you lose street credibility, you lose the numbers, you lose the push, you lose the support of the people, and guess what? You lose. That's it. You know, in order to win in the game, oh, that's West Side. In order to win in the game, guard! You got to stick to yourself. You got to be loyal to your motherfucking supporters. You got to be real to yourself, be humble, and of course, be consistent, right? The consistency of what was going on on No Jumper is straight caca, right? Over there on No Jumper, it was all about one man and one man's ego. The narcissist Gilligan 22. Now let me tell you something about Adam. There's been a lot of he said, she said, that she said, that he said has been going on. Okay, all the way from pedophilia to being a lot of the devil. Right? We don't know what is real, what isn't. But one thing I know is for sure, his numbers are taking a decline. You know, hey, are you all right down there? You want me to help you? <laughs> no, I can't. You're a pedophile. <clears throat> Toma. Right? And that's just the way it is. So he better get on his offensive defense and step his game back up because if not he's going to be just another one of them channels man that had their shine and now he ain't nothing and we can't press rewind you know and that's just what it is let me tell you a story about the way certain individuals feel in society i was incarcerated i was locked up out of state and i'm on the theta with their equivalent to what the shoe was right and i had been sitting down in there and i already knew there was levels to this game right they had put and placed me in the shoe program, and I had about a year to do. You know, it wasn't like Califas where you got indeterminates at that time, where you got an 18-month shoe where they sat you down, and so I was good. you was in there quiet, like, <sighs> just getting down, reading books, and, and, and getting your workout on, right? Preparing your mind for Gerda, preparing your mind to hit that linea and establish. It wasn't like that. See, the only thing this was, was a place to sit down and do a whole time, right? So we used to pop it on the theta. We used to chop it up, you know. Hopefully you got in a good pod with some good righteous individuals that you could kick it with. There were a lot of people bumping bacon soda breath. There was a lot of pucker ups, right? And a lot of weird stuff going on on these tiers. So you had to decipher who was the real ones and who were the real fake ones. Now this is where Adam 22 kind of comes into play. There's an Africano brother that comes on the tira, right? And this guy had his chest thrown like Preston all out. Say what your chest whistle. Bah, bro. They bought these two. Hey, he, I remember the first day he got on the tira, he just pushing, right? And I've told this story before, but let me reiterate it because it makes sense, right? So as Vato gets there, <clears throat> and there's a, 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 a white dude that had been on this tier for a minute, okay? And this white guy was respected. 
He was respected because he stuck to his, what he believed in. Yes, this one was racist, brother. But he definitely stuck to what he believed in. To what degree of racism? Eh, he had, there was levels to it. He talked to the Mexicans, didn't really want to talk to blacks. But when he did talk, he wouldn't fit him. He talk, I don't know, you know, this 20th century type uh, racism where it's, it's hey, they pick and choose what day um, they're going to be racist. Anyways, so Volto's there. Um, but he's well respected. He's well respected as far as having hands. He's well respected as he'll get off where he's mad at. And, you know, people chop it up with them. Um, I remember me and him had a, a lightweight relationship as far as, man, he would pass me magazines, books, um, back and forth. You know, having been there for six, seven months at this time, um, we grew accustomed to each other's programs. You know, I knew when he was up working out, he was my neighbor. He knew when I was up working out and we kept it very respectful. Now I was brown, he was white, but at the same time, man, when you're doing time together, there's there's a common understanding, man, that to make it easier for the next man, you keep it respectful. That's what I learned a long time ago. I, I was laced by different ones. So I was laced by G, you saw me. You know what I mean? Yes, the G was in them. So anyways, we're kicking back and this Africano brother comes on the theater. He's a sangre, he's a blood. Uh, he's claiming Pyro, right? I know there's a difference, but he's claiming Pyro and blood. It's out of state, it's different, right? Shh, don't tell nobody, guard, you know. Anyway, so the Vato comes on the theater and um, I have all these magazines in my cell, right? Um, the white guy used to get every day, you know, the white guy, they got money, brother. Brown people, we ain't got nada, right? But so he would shoot me his magazines. I'd read them, shoot them right back to him, you know what I mean, promptly. Um, but it was it was good reading material. Um, anyways, I have a stack of magazines. When the South Carolina brother walks by, he sees I got the new magazine. He was like, ASA, ASA, right? I said, oh, hell no, nah. <laughs> right? What's happening, bro? He said, hey, uh, can I read that magazine? I said, hey, bro, this ain't mine. This is my neighbor's, right? So he gets at the neighbor. He's like, hey, 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 white boy, white boy, right? The white boy's like, he ain't answering, right? He's like, you mean white man, <laughs> right? And they get, anyways, quietly as it's kept, they get into this big discussion over black and white and white and black, right? And I'll never forget what that white guy told him. Because the the, the the brother was like, yeah, man, we're the best in tennis. We're the best in golf. We got Serena Williams taking over. We're Tiger Woods is doing this thing. We're the best. We're the best. And I remember the white guy says, you are. You guys are the best. You are the best. He said, you want to know why you're the best, right? He says, because you guys and the Mexicans have been put in this earth to entertain the white man. Uh. Okay, when he said that, the whole theater got quiet. Shh. All the wind went out ourselves because we knew right then the way that these individuals felt about us. Now, that's the way Adam 22 feels about the Dunos, the ADs, the T-Rails, and all these people, even the ones he has right now um, on his panels. They're just there to entertain the white man, right? And he's getting all the paper. He's getting all the bread. You know, now this guy um, is a devious character. You know, I don't know how real ones didn't see him from a mile away. See, I seen him right from the gate. And it wasn't no hate, no animosity, no envy. Because, hey, I got my channel. I'm doing my thing. My numbers might not be the greatest, huh? but they're the latest. And that's just what it's going to be like. I'm going to strive and push and pull and work out hard for what I truly believe in. And that's the coming together of people. But that's another story. The story we're talking about now is how Adam22, the Gilligan, shout out to Milk, right? Done lost so many subscribers and so much credibility. And it's because the people you surround yourself with are what your image has become. Okay, when you had the ADs and the do-nos and everyone, they're bringing in all these street dudes, man, freestyling, talking that real gang gang. You know, oh, he was on top of, hey, you, get off that mountain. He was on top of the mountain. But when you step away or push away from these type of individuals that really ain't did nothing bad to you, man, that were not subservient, but were basically loyal to you, what do you expect? The streets will talk. The streets will also walk away. There's nowhere else to go but walk on by. And that's definitely what's happened to Adam. If you're not paying attention, his numbers are going like this. Now, one thing I know for sure is when you're caught up in the game of, I don't even call it a game, but that's what they call it, a pedophilia or things of that nature, um, things are going to be ugly for your situation. Okay, now I know what Adam said. Well, it was in Canada and it's legal over there. It doesn't matter, brother. It's what's legal here and here. Messing with kids. You old despicable ass crap character. Oh, you're a sly one, Mr. Grandchild. You thought you was going to go in there and steal the cookie. But guess what, homeboy? What you've done is done messed it up for yourself. See, nobody from the streets, nobody that's been in the game, no one that's real, no grown man or grown woman like to indulge or spend their time listening to a character of that nature. Someone who harms children or does that. 
you know, and then makes excuses for it. Yeah, yeah, I did it. I did it. You know what I mean? But, but at the end of the day, it was legal over there. Nah, come on, Adam. Stop it. Stop it. Stop that. Okay. No one's going to support that. Any poop butt who decides to support that believes that that's cool. Okay. It's not. Guard, is that cool? I don't think it's cool. See, even the guard don't think it's cool. And he's not cool. So it's just different, right? Um, one thing I know for sure is this is a numbers game on YouTube. It's all about clout. It's all about shine. It's all about how many views you can get. It's all about telling a good story as well. It's all about keeping it real with the people. See, and I don't think Adam's always kept it real with us. You know, I think he feels privileged. He got that golden spoon or that silver spoon or whatever type of spoon. He's got some spoon stuck in his ass. He's got some type of whatever it is, contraption, that he believes he's more privileged than the rest of us. You know, um, I've seen it from a mile away. My boy Dub seen it from my boy Rojo. We all see it from a mile away. And there's so many reasons why. Having lived in the streets, having lived in the ghetto, the projects, the, 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 the roach infested apartments, you know what I mean? Kick cereal, food stamps that were paper. You remember them brown ones? So let's get moms talking about here. Go to the store with four food stamps, man. Turn those in, get a penny candy, flip them for a pack of Marble Light 100. You already know what the game is, right? Um, with a note, you know what I mean? The, the, this is this is written in your handwriting. No, it's not written in my handwriting. I can't even spell. You know what I mean? Mom said, oh, mom said, tell mom, they said, she has a big old booty. These bottles were different. That's hood stuff, right? And real ones recognize real. Um, Adam never comes from that. See, he ain't never been to that. The closest he ever got to the hood was, was building this studio nearby, but not really in. You know, it's just, it's just a different element of people. Um, when people have money, you can get whatever you want. When you start throwing fatty around, people will flock to you. You know, people people need that that level of success. And if you're providing a platform with that level of success and something they can catapult their own thing off of, of course they're going to join. You know, and then there's a lot of people, oh, no, Adam's a real one. He's a real one. Yeah, where was that real one when Milk wanted that fade? Where was that at? Okay. I'll hold. It wasn't quite there, gente. You know, I get so many uh, comments and DMs. Why do you hate on Adam? So I don't hate him. I just speak the real. If you can't take it, go find Bigfoot. It ain't really too much to it. You know, I'm going to prevent my people out of harm's way. You know, if, 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 if the brown are killing the brown and the black are killing the black and the white, the, the woods, brother, are killing the woods. Well, then so be it, man. You know, hey, mind your own or your own will remind you. There's levels to the game. There's necessary steps you must take. There's rules and regulations, man, you must abide and follow. And that's the streets, homie. And you know what you signed up for. I myself found myself in an icky, sticky situation. I got off where I was mad at it. Because at the same time, man, it was me or them. And it was going to be them, not me. Mine might come later. But at the same time, man, it is what it is. I'm fully prepared and ready. One thing I'll say for facts, and this is actual factual for sure, is Adam never, he ain't, he ain't that, man. Come on, man. He ain't cut like that. You know what I mean? That he, hey, hey, he ain't built for tough. You know what I mean? He's more like a Pinto trying to compete with a Chevy. It just really ain't going to happen, right? I mean, it looks cool, but at the same time, I'm, I'm getting my El Camino on. You know what I mean? Drop top in the back, you know what I mean? With a little bit of slack. You know what it is? I make it crack, man, with one time, one time for the mind, mind, and a Mac. Now, listen, Adam22 basically has segregated himself from his people. His true colors have shown. His true intentions have shown. What he really thought about AD and Duno and all these guys has shown. And Lush, we ain't even going to talk about Lush. Lush got a lawsuit now. Come on, let's stop it. You weren't even on long enough to get a lawsuit. You better stop that. Go back to wherever you came from. Go to whatever little rock you crawled up out of under. I never really cared for Lush, man. I thought he was one of those guys that just was happy as hell to get it. Hey, he, the whole time he was like this. I'm on no jumper. I'm on no jumper. Man, come on, man. You better jump off. No. <laughs> Do your thing. Look. Adam played his cards wrong, man. His hand was dealt and he showed it. Okay, when you show your hand and people see your true intentions of what type of people you are, they go, hey, they can't put the Mac on them. They, only, they did the only thing they could do and they turned their back on them. Okay, I understand that part of the game. I understand sometimes you find yourself uh, uh, surrounded by riffraff and people that are sneaky in the game and they're trying to utilize and use you. And the only thing you can do, man, is contemplate what's going on inside and do the right thing and do your own thing. Now, you see the community. You see AD, t all them cats. They're getting all the numbers. Why? Because real ones get real results. What does Adam get? 
a jacket, right? And he fits it well. When you've went against the grain, when bad things that you've done, and the cream will always rise to the top, brother. When you've done bad things in your life, man, eventually over time, man, it's going to be exposed. That's it. You know, it's how you roll with them punches. It's how you surf them waves, Adam. You know, and I don't think necessarily, man, he's able to. So his numbers are starting to fall by the wayside. You know, I turned on No Jump the other day. They're about to have, I had more views than he did on it. I said, good Lord. Oh, hell no. Right? I'm up there with No Jump. I do big things. Really, I wasn't doing big things. He was just doing small things. But, you know, the comparison was real. So, um, and I keep it true, man. I keep it black and brown. I keep it straight, man. I'm not going to deny no questions asked and guarantee, man, going to ask no questions denied. It's just going to be facts right here. You know, that's that's understandable. I understand about the guy a little bit of fatty. Yeah, you got people coming in and he got Lena the plug, you know, with all the negro. I understand, you know, and I might not have that. Okay, But guess what I have? Heart, mind, and rasa way. See, that's something Adam don't have. You know, when the Russell went to go stand their ground and hold hold it down for what they believed in, oh, he was out there playing poker. You know, he done left my boy AD right there. AD was like, all right, all right, all right, cuz, all right, essays, right? And it was all good. Respectable. No denying that. Even Duno was sitting there fat and ugly like, I hope the, the homeboys don't regulate on me right now. I know I got to check you out and come in. <laughs> It's real, man. It's real life. But real ones know and they understand. Okay. So will Adam be able to ride this wave and will uh, No Jumper's numbers go back up? One never knows does one. We'll see what this new cast of characters brings to the table because so far I ain't see a whole lot of nothing. I see now another view coming. I don't see nothing. And why? Because that whole platform was established on these names of real righteous people. And now... <laughs> Chorro, it's all coming out in the morning. It's like drinking all night. You're holding it in. It's all bomb. Ba -da -ba -ba. Everyone's getting it. The party's real. And in the morning, it all comes out. Well, guess what? It's Adam's morning. And now it's nothing but chorro. You know, it's all coming out. Everything is laid out there. All the people that were rocking with him, all the people that had his back are now making videos explaining the reason they left or the reason he fired him or the, all the shit that was being talked behind the scenes. And guess what? We love drama. Everyone loves, you know, drama. I love drama. Yeah, I, 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 to what degree of drama? Save it for your mom. Everybody loves drama, but they hate fakery. They hate someone who stirs the pot. And Adam seems like he was stirring the pot within the black and brown community. Utilizing the sweat off the brow of the black and brown man. We done seen it before, Hente. It's time to rise up and stand up. I agree with AD and everything that they say. Do no man start your own thing and your own thing will be started. It's all good. As far as Adam, I know about canceling people. And I'm not sitting here saying, hey, don't support him. I'm just saying, come on, man. Why would you? In the first place. Like I said, I watched it just like anyone else for thrills, chills, and watch to watch him do the spills. But then at the end of the day, I started to recognize. See, real recognize is real. And what I see was really fake. And I started to say, huh. You know, and at the end there, if you guys didn't see the demise with the Kelpie incident, letting that happen, no security for the young kid. And with all the inner turmoil and the drag queens and the, the, the whoop, the boop, 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 and the boba throwing. And man, it was at that point right there, I had to turn it off. And myself, I went to go find Bigfoot. Because that right there was rather unbecoming of what, you know, I'm involved in or what I do. See, I'm an intellectual person. I like to study and educate my mind and educate myself. You know, I watched No Jumper, not for the fact that I enjoyed the cast of characters, because to tell you the truth, there was only a couple of authors. I really was like, all right. You know what I mean? The rest, I was like, Pfft. But at the same time, um, I was thinking, okay, let me look at the studio makeup, how they're doing their thing. I'm a YouTuber. I'm trying to educate myself so I can get my thing right. You know, so I can get my Rodecaster Pro. I'm trying to get it. I'm trying to step my game up. I'm trying to catch up with a tomato in my back pocket. And I realized I should have been throwing the tomato at the screen. Because it was a boo-boo show. And it was a boo-boo show because of one guy, the leader of the pack. So you can't blame everyone else. That's it. And this ain't no blame game. But the, 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 all the betrayal, the lies, the deceit, and all that must rest upon the shoulders of the man running the show. See, like I said, you could be the boss at all costs, right? But that's the question, man. And that's the word, at all costs. And guess what? When it all comes down to it, who gets blamed? Let's say, say that three times fast. Get up, Chucky, and get down, Spider. Well, orderly Adam. At the end of the day, even before your pedophilia. We're not even going to get to that. We, you know what you did. But you was legal in Canada. This ain't Canada, is it? 
It's the West Coast. I mean, the best coast where we shine right and get our mind right. You already know what it is. Anyways, with that being said, I just wanted to put that out there, man. Look at the numbers go like this. <laughs> have you noticed? I have. With that being said, Moose Will with a purpose. Get everything that you want coming to you. And remember, at the end of the day, Adam's going to keep doing what he does. Hopefully not with 16-year-olds. And I'm going to do what I does. And let the wind blow. You already know what it is, man. Thumbs up or thumbs down. If it's going to be the head that wears the crown. I'm going to continue to strive and struggle for what I honestly and truly believe in. That's the coming together of real ones, man. My stories might not be all that. My makeup and my get down might not be the best. But guess what, homeboy? This is the West and it's real. Bang, bang. The gun.